That is ice. I hate gloves. Uh oh, we're gonna have a negative Nancy. You need gloves. You need. You should be wearing safety glasses and gloves and a and a cup to protect your nuts. I lost mine when I got married. Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. In this video, I'm gonna be snapping the lines, squaring them up, making sure my house is nice and pretty, sitting nice and square. That's important. Later, I'll tell you why. Not my dog. Peanut will probably attack that dog at some point. Fair warning. Peanut is not like, I make Peanut look like an angel, but she's psycho. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a uh, framing square and butt it down so the this part right here is down on the steel, and then I've got this up top, and I'm gonna mark four inches. If you're gonna do this, I recommend you mark uh, three and a half inches and have your plywood hang down to the side of your trailer. But I'm gonna be doing things a little bit differently on this house. I am taking away an inch of interior space by doing it this way. Obviously, if you're building on a nor normal tiny house trailer, uh, I've got several videos talking about how to figure out widths and lengths and heights and all this stuff before you get to this point because that's important. You don't want to be over 8 foot 6 and you don't want to be higher than 13 foot 6. So I might link those, I might not. But anyways, I'm going to mark 4 inches here which will be 3.5 inches for my 2x4 and a half inch for the exterior plywood. I'm going to mark it in this direction and then I'm going to come and do it in this direction as well. And then I'm just going to repeat that on all four corners. Then I'm just going to take a chalk line with some black chalk. I like black the best. It's, it stands out the best. Red is also good, not blue. And snap that in. When I'm snapping a line, I'm making sure I'm pulling straight up and letting go. You can snap it several times. For some reason, this chalk line sucks. Not in the fingernail. Like, I didn't need it. It was okay. Like, they'll grow back, right? The tighter you pull it, the better it'll be. You want your finger to feel like it's going to rip off. Now, next thing I want to do is make sure that I'm running parallel with each other. This will affect your, uh, your rafters if you don't do this. So I'm just going to measure from the, the line to this line, and I've got five foot exactly. Keep that in mind. That's 50 square feet right there. And I'm going to come up here and check this, and I've got five feet exactly. Now, I did do this off camera already and I was not perfect. I was running like this. So what I did was made this front section a little bit bigger. It's not gonna throw anything off too bad, but I, it's very crucial since I'm doing an A-frame rafter system that these are running perfectly parallel with each other. So now that I got these two lines running parallel with each other, I got that back line snapped. I'm just gonna hook on to that and pull some numbers. So I have the plywood on the main house ending right here and then the pressure treated deck. I want this aluminum right here to go with the plywood. So from this aluminum roughly, I'm gonna go four inches back. So 10 and a half inches right there. 10 and a half inches, that's a mistake that I just said in the video. I meant to say 10 foot half inch. So I'm gonna put two nails right at the crosshair, right where these two lines meet up is the crosshair. And I'm going to put a nail there and I'm put a nail there, eh? Peanut, you're going to go inside in a second. You're pissing me off. Now I'm going to measure on a diagonal to that mark that I just made. 34 and 5 eighths. 34 and mm, close enough. I'd say if you're within an eighth inch on being square, I would say it's good enough. I mean, if it was a professional job, I would get it perfect. But to make it perfect, you just need to push that line back or forward. You can move different lines, like you could push this one up a sixteenth and that one back a sixteenth to make it good, but I'm happy with that. I feel like that's close enough. Then I'm just going to snap this all the way through. Now all these lines represent the inside of the walls. So now that I know that that main section right there is square, I can pull my lines off that and get this mark right here, which will be this front wall. It's just gonna be a short little small wall, but I'm still gonna make plates for it. I'm just gonna hold it on my line. Already figured out from this four inches in is, it looks like it's 64 inches. Let's check the other side. Damn, that looks pretty damn good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy. It would be ideal if I had a film, somebody to film for me. 
So I've got that mark that's a little far in. If I take my speed square and, and butt it in here, I can transfer it out so I can put my chalk line right on there. I get a better, more accurate line. So that's basically it with snapping lines. It's really easy. You don't need to be that precise. The more square you make it, the better it'll be in the long run for you. When it gets to the point when you start doing your finish work and you start putting in um, manufactured products, those are gonna be square, perfectly square. So when you go and set it into something that's not perfectly square, it's gonna be really noticeable and it's not gonna look that well. So try to get these as square as possible. Basically you're running diagonals from each crosshair to the crosshair on both ends. Try to get those as close to the same number as you possibly can. It's typically only gonna be very small amounts. I think my house was pretty good when I did it. I think I used a ratchet strap and brought it to good, but this is all right, with the exception of the trailer being like this. But I fixed that by bumping it out a little bit, which it'll be fine, you won't be noticing it. So now that that's done, I'm gonna start doing my plates. Get out of here, you are cute. I'll give you cute points. Do not, no, dad, you pet me, only me. Nobody else. So these two long, peanut, stop it. So these two long walls, I'm gonna have those go from all the way on the outside to the outside. Basically run the full length of the trailer, and then these inside walls are going to butt into these longer walls. These will be framed in one piece, stood up, and then I will kind of half-ass frame those and stand them up. So I'm just going to start out with two 10-footers right here, and then I'll finish it with some of the studs that I have. So I'm just going to take these two 10-footers, I'm going to flush them up, and then I'm going to tack them together. Just put a diagonal nail into them, just like that. Make sure they're flush. Then on this bottom corner right here, I'm gonna mark three and a half inches and bring that mark right there to the line right here. No need to measure. No need for blueprints. No need for any of that stuff. So I have these two 10 footers coming. I wanna make sure that they're flush on the ends and then I'm gonna take two more. These are studs, but they represent plates. They will be plates. I'm gonna make sure they're flush and I'll tack these together. When you do this tack nail, you want to keep it pretty far back from the end of the wood because it will split it. Good, and then ever so gently, butt it up against the two 10 footers. So right here I have the end of the trailer line or the interior of that wall. I'm gonna put just a small mark right here. Take my piece away. From that mark, I'm gonna go an additional three and a half inches, which is the thickness of a two by four. And I'll square that across. So now that I get that marked, I'm just gonna cut both of these at the same time. Obviously, this is not going to cut all the way through both of them, but I put a score mark in the underside, so I'll just push the top away and cut this one again. Save those blocks. Those are not firewood. Put it back in place, check everything, and it looks good. So there's one thing that's kind of throwing this off is that this decking is an inch thick and this plywood's three quarters. So these studs on the front are going to need to be a quarter inch shorter than the rest of the house. So I need to make a split in what will be the bottom plate. So from that mark that I have that represents the inside, I'm gonna go over three and a half inches and put a mark, square that across. I don't know how to explain that, but it's good. This top plate will run all the way through because it'll be level, but this wall is gonna be a little bit shorter but it's gonna be pushed up because of the decking and this will be pushed down. Hello. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, I didn't even know if you're a boy or not. Whoa, dude, get away from my owners. He's such, he's so much fluffier. I'll be fluffy, feed me more. So basically I'm gonna repeat that step through the rest of the plates. I'm gonna do that side over there. I'll do the same notch that I did there and then I will cut, I'll just measure in between the two lines on all of these, they should be exactly the same. Five feet, right? Yeah, there should be five feet. So I'll cut six boards at five feet, tack them together, set them in there, and get them ready for, for studs. And then we will lay the plates out, which we'll cut back to in a minute. I'm gonna get that done, I'm just gonna do it. Sometimes it's just funner to work. To be completely honest with you, I could do this whole structure in one day. I could frame it, get it all up, squared, most likely plywooded, and some rafters in, in one day. But that's not what we're about here at Tiny House Customs. We're about educating and helping people. 
so a few weeks ago, maybe like three or four weeks ago, I did a video about the vapor barrier and a couple of you guys commented about where to get the correct tape. Thank you. I have ordered it and I'm going to fix it just so you know. With my house, I'm going to fix that because that Tyvek tape is not working too well. But you can see here, I finished the plates. Totally new day. The other day was freezing cold. Today is equally as freezing cold, but I'm, I'm wearing like, what are they called? What are they called? Yoga pants? Not really yoga pants, but they might as well be. They say spandexy on them or whatever. I think they're sexy. So you can see I did the plates. They're all done. I've got three five foot walls that'll go in between these two long walls. How long are they? You ask? I wonder. How long is this bad boy? It should be like 16, right? Yeah. 15 foot 11 and a quarter plus a half inch on each end, so 16 foot one and a quarter. I mean, it's gonna be a little longer than that with overhangs and roof stuff that I'm gonna be doing. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my next video, I'm gonna be figuring out where all the windows go and laying the plates out for them to prepare for walls. So you can see behind me that I am well ahead of where this video just ended. There are several videos on Patreon already, so if you wanna jump ahead and watch, more progress and help support this build at the same time, please go check it out. The link's gonna be in the description below. Just $1 a month will get you advanced access to the content as well as some behind the scene just for you videos. And over there, it's more of an interactive opportunity because this is, on YouTube, this is delayed by three, four, five weeks sometimes. So if you really wanna like voice your opinion on stuff, join Patreon because a lot of stuff that happens with this build is is because of the Patreon supporters. You know, I was gonna do one thing in the house, but a couple of my Patreon supporters, why don't you do this? I think that's a great idea. So constantly changing my ideas because of the ideas that I get through Patreon. But by the time this video is on YouTube, it's too late. Things have already been done. So please go check it out. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe, comment your great knowledge down below. And I will, nope, you forgot to hit the thumbs up though. You gotta hit that too. And then that's it, I'll see you on the next video. I mean, to be completely honest with you, I'm so far behind on edits. I, I've got so much data that I, I, I it's, it's a little daunting. I don't even know how much I gotta do. It's, it's freakish.